Hi Taurus, if you want to come on in and have a seat for some symbolic support, we did your ink blot earlier for April and we're going to flip it for alternative perspective. If you want to take a screenshot so you can scry in your own time and terms for shapes or symbols that speak to your psyche and psychic senses. Taurians will add on tarot and oracle along the way and as well the spirit box for any shout outs that may resonate when you're ready. Let's close the eyes, cleansing the palette of perception, activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. Let's go. Taurians, thank you for being my muse, for holding space for me to share my insights and allowing me to be a guest in your aura. I'm seeing a little dog uh, and a gentleman, possibly in spirit, but I, feel, I do feel like he's still incarnate. Okay, there's a little dog that was attached to somebody when the dog was in was alive, and now he's with an older gentleman that is in spirit. I don't think they had a whole lot of interactions, maybe some when they were alive, both together, but now that they're both in spirit, and it's like you're their commonality that connects, so that they are becoming closer. Hmm. It's quite adorable. It's a smaller dog, it feels like. Torians, I kind of am getting the sense that, okay, I just like did a massive zoom out here. Something about the mouth, like uh, the words barbed wire -y. I'm seeing sharks uh, like around the lips, so I don't know if uh, you're... Uh, for some Torians, you might be feeling, you might be sharp-witted with your words, maybe like you're a lawyer or an adjudicator of some sort or in a case or uh, some sort of clause about something. And then on the other hand, it just makes me feel like my words are very sharp like sharks. And I don't know if that's inherently a good or bad thing, to be honest with you. I think it depends on the context and the arena in which I'm navigating and swimming through. And then another part just showed up and it's a barbed wire bow tie right at the lip. So I don't know if you're keeping quiet about something and there's like a silent suffering or you're working through something and it's like, mm, I can't say that. <sighs> Do you know what I'm saying? It's quite, it's right in here, but I'm seeing this, all this black density as almost like a cat. I don't think it's quite a cat. It's some sort of jungle cat, maybe more like a panther or a jaguar or something along that lines. And then here's, here's the mouth, but it's also attached to, and I understand these are the ears. Sorry, my camera's over here. So I'm, or my computer but there's another set of ears, two, uh, two spaces of listening. Okay. Yes. It's almost like, you know, like that kind of like that angel and devil or your boss and coworkers or your partner, whether that's in business or in a relationship, uh, like two octaves of hearing and I don't know if this is like a, even a clear, clear hearing, like, no, but I'm not going to be able to remember it, but you might be like, why am I hearing that? Is that true? It's almost as if in another rabbit hole, if I may, Torians and in, in the very tangible realm, these things could be going on or emotional realm, but then they're like, there's this whole other, uh, wandering into the clear hearing or the clear hearing and you might be hearing things like walking around then you just hear your name like Joe and you're like yeah but nobody said your name or you check with everyone do you know what I'm saying like they're almost like spirit shout outs speaking of I'll add on the spirit box we're here for the Torian collective should you have anything to add shout outs that may resonate with you or for myself but that's what it feels like. It might be like these oddities for the Torians. It feels like an oddity or it's becoming clear and you're like, hmm. maybe you're not saying anything to anyone. 
But I'm also seeing those as I'm seeing it like in a guitar on the neck of it. Oh, my nose is getting itchy. And if this was the string, and now I'm seeing the Joker, and you would tighten them, and it's like yeah, 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 yeah. Could be like a grin and grin and bear it kind of situation. And then sometimes they unloosen, and you're like, oh, 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 guardian. Hopefully you can hear this. I do have a thing coming to help. Anyway, because there's all this light in and around <clears throat> here. It's what we want. <laughs> you want to grin and bear it? But I, I do feel like it serves a purpose. Like there's an intelligence in it right now for, for what's happening around you right now now it's like I can see this is what I'm working towards this is what I want but I'm still for the most part amongst the momentum of what was and I'm still in like these little bits so it's like they're and they're getting closer because of this ability to Keep it quiet, especially if you have an idea or a dream. Maybe you are hearing spirits, seeing spirits, and you're just keeping it quiet until maybe you can speak to it or induce it. I don't, I don't know. Because there's work being done here. It's like I'm seeing somebody jackhammering, and though my neighbors are actually, I think they're sawing, um, but the jackhammer is sideways. Ooh. And light is coming up. Um, when you do speak to things freely and openly, I feel like there is a, a lot of love and loyalty in those words. A very protective of your people like a piranha. I think that might have come up in other readings for Torians before, but I'm not sure. I'm going to keep wandering around here. It's almost like I can see the light. I can see the light, but my eyebrows right now are passionate. And you know how when sometimes you can see people that are like thinking or they're very focused, but they look stern and it's like, you know, uh, like fix your face, <laughs> but you're just... Or they look angry, but they're not angry. They're they're focused, they're present, they're passionate, and that just happens to be their their face about it. And it's almost as if through the eyebrows that I'm seeing right now, uh, as a guest observing, I'm like, are you angry? Amy. Are you concerned? <clears throat> or are you passionate and very invested in it? And maybe that's something that can be tough for other people to discern, including those that you love or work with, this, that, or the other. But it's growing something. I can see these trees. They're like springtime trees. Possibly apple trees. Or some sort of, some sort of fruit-bearing tree. And here's the interesting part. I'm not seeing the fruit on it yet. But the fruit's coming in to be placed upon it for you. The spring season, your season, could be very prominent regarding it. Okay, so tree actually came up. Stability and growth and moose acceptance eccentric. So there's something. Who are you? I am Steph. Who are you? Which is on the bottom, which is like unseen or possibly grounding you or supporting you. And in this case, the witch is saying magic or curse. Like I, and I keep hearing the magic is there. The magic is coming. The fruits are coming in. But because of that momentum of say the past, 
up into the most recent present. Like once some, it's like I changed my mind. So why aren't I seeing the effects right away? It's like, but the momentum was this. I changed my mind. And now this has to build momentum. There we go. You know what I'm saying? And they got to even out and then, okay. That's hopefully you understand what I'm saying. But you are building in your ability to accept. Even if it was a curse or it feels like a curse because you're in a transition and you can't say certain things, you can't do certain things because it would affect what it is that you really want or what you're working towards quietly or loudly. See it as magic, like magic is happening. <clears throat> chemical reactions are happening for your overall growth. And I want to insert, even though I was seeing the tree up here, like a tree, but there is a lot of yellow in here that may not, the camera may not fully allow, allow it to come through. There it is. Okay. And if I put that there, tree, right? It's like then all of these are the apples waiting to come in. It's like one day you'll go out to your backyard or metaphorical space or your your very real existence, spiritually, physically, etc. And you've been tending to this tree, you've been tending to this tree, and then one day it's there and you're like, there's there's an apple. And whatever apple may obviously symbolize to you. Torians. It's really quite lovely. But I, I do feel I hear you. Yeah, I, f I do feel like there could be some sort of silent suffering because it's just like, it's almost like don't speak of the curse mentality to feed it. You're moving into magic. Your opposition or opinions of others may. Hmm. Not actually help as much as you think. Okay, we're here for Torians. I know you know, but I'm just saying. I'm seeing, do you know what I'm seeing? It's amazing. You know when like a web page doesn't load and there's that little tiny dinosaur that I think he does something, but maybe it's just in my imagination that he does something? That's what I'm seeing right here. Okay, and that tiny dinosaur is like implying to me it's like, uh, when we were talking about, you know, past to the future and the momentum, at some point in time, the, the, the past or what you're moving away from, not running away, you're transforming, you're transforming, will no longer be able to be accessible. And whether that's it, you know, for me, when I wander that rabbit hole, that could be people, relationships, friendships, kinships, places, this, that, or the other. 22. And you'll be like, it's not can't find this Torian reload page does not exist anymore the number 22 has come up a whole lot that may mean something to somebody okay your cards that came through here are dolphin and tiger for will and happiness this is what I will it come through one day I shall figure out anyway that, that's what they say one day I'll figure out the lighting to the best of my ability. And then we have seahorse and bull, equality and sacrifice. Torians, all this will, there's a buttload of yellow in this tiger, remember? No. Um, and I want to insert it right there. And you know how they say like the cow jumps over the moon at some point in time, this work that you've been doing in the mouth and your speech, say what you mean, mean what you say, clarity, calm, don't let them. And it, even with it's like, don't, let, don't let them, but don't let them waver your work through in your willingness. Whoop, there we go through this. And it's just going to like fly over. 
the freedom in that. And I hear like Tony the Tiger, you're great. Because the work, the sacrifices you have been doing. You know, you know why you've been doing them. You know why you've been tending to the tree slowly, slowly, slowly. You know why you've been doing this work for your happiness because somewhere along the lines whether it's your female energy that has been nurturing something and like your male energy Jump. planted something your willpower you know what i'm saying your male and female energies and or actual partners business or relationship platonic romantic have been working together and it's like you handed her the apple seed and she's been nurturing it but the, the male aspect has been tending to the nurturing of the female energy. So that space is strong. That energy is strong to tend to the nutrients required for whatever this dream is. Do you see what I'm saying? And I'm saying him, her, male, masculine, all in regards to energy. And whatever parts of you or somebody else embody those energies to alchemize with the energies that's how you do it because that's what's working and it's working. The sacrifices, I don't know if that's all you can see right now is the sacrifices you've made. Like that's how it kind of when I land, I land, lean into the curse side and I feel in this like Taurian energy being a fellow earth sign, I get it. It's like all I can see is the the I come and go. The the curse of it. But thank you. What is actually overall and seen because I just heard we can acknowledge it, but it's seen by spirit. Your spirit, the spirit of um some people around you. Your guards and uh, guards and guardians, guards. Hmm. There's uh, the seahorse. Uh, there's an equality. Do you know that comes through. There's an equality between your male and female aspects, however they're embodied. And you have this presence about you, because and when you do accept. That this sacrifices, I'm not saying certain things right now, this, that, or the other, uh, picking your people that you do speak to it. And when I say people, I mean like it's a few, one, two, few, maybe you and your business partner, you and your, you know, uh, relationship partner, I don't know, or a bestie. It's a few. And you might reach out to one other person, but I don't feel like they're actually connected to you. So whatever this is, like, let's just say if you and your partner were, were working on something in your relationship and you wanted to see a therapist, like it's outside of you, they are outside of you, but, or you come into money and you need an accountant or you and your business partner are going to rearrange assets to create or help a better department and you need that that person over there that has the skill set there might be somebody a third a third anyway uh the seahorse equality and again there's the male and female aspects when i was talking about like the nurturing of the female energy to nurture the tree the peacock card here on the bottom kept coming uh, coming to ask for my attention, kept come, stepping forward. And this is about pregnancy and wealth. And this is what your frequencies around you are. This, again, it could be friends, the set or the other. And she's up here. Preggers will come through. Well, nonetheless, trust me, she's Preggers up there. And I just heard someone possibly ask maybe even including just of myself being a fellow earth sign well who's nurturing the male energy and this is the interesting part about it everyone is because once this tree grows the fruits of your labors that's what feeds you and the only way those 
those fruits come through is by each energy applying their alchemy. Does that make sense? I think it does. And I, but I feel like I might be missing a part here. I feel like I'm missing a soulful part. Hmm. Give me a moment. Okay. I probably don't need to clarify this for those that are resonating with the story, but if it's, if it's yours, you know, we're here together. And if it's not, that's okay. So if the male energy steps forward to impregnate the female energy, who's going to then nurture this could absolutely be a, a baby or an adoption, this, that, or the other, but I'm going to take the, the tree to bear fruit. Okay, but that also entails tending to the land and the scope around that. And that's what nurtures the male energy. Okay, so it's like taking a home or uh, the, the energy, the physical energy, the emotional energy around the male. Anyway, okay, I'm just going to leave it. If you get it, you get it. And if you don't, I apologize that I've butchered it to death. So along with pregnancy and wealth, here is an unfolding surprise coming through. This may come from like this third party. Like you might get a delightful surprise about something to be like, oh, oh, because change is in the air. There is, you have been cultivating through your willingness, the change. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to keep going. Or sorry, I'm going to get ready to close out here for Taurians and take one last look-see at what's going on for the Taurian energy. Thank you so much for being here. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, total gratitude to all those who have bought me a coffee. I'm honored, grateful. It's delicious, my creative juice. Taurians. There is, what is that? I think it's even beyond my time per se, but I recall growing up to devilishly good. Is that it? Devilishly good? Something along that lines. I don't know if it was a chocolate or a candy bar. Why is she here? Hmm. On the bottom, we have Jupiter. Your confidence, courage, self-beliefs, and luck. Okay. Devilishly good. Ah, oh, I feel like and even when as soon as I looked at your ink blot, I was like, ooh, there is like this a slidey sm smile that everything and it wasn't turned like the tuners. It was just like I I'm coming to life again. And and maybe that smile is reflective of knowing that your sacrifices are Hospital. are worth it. Are worth it. Okay, we have Cancer, Gemini, and Venus that have come through Taurians to support you. Venus, of course, uh, the part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables. These, my loves, are all your apples. All your Venuses. Whatever it is that you've been working towards, want, desire. Watch your words. If you are sharp-witted like a shark, people will bite back. Is it the right place? Is it worth it? A little bite could take uh, could take out from something from someone or an energy that is supporting you differently, silently, that is less seen. Do you know what I'm saying? We have cancer. This energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, and loving. It may concern a family, a mother, or a child. And this could be that family or a family, Not. the female energy. It could be your business partner, somebody who works in a different kind of energy. You could be the bull and they could be more water-like. But the interesting thing is Gemini comes in and it's the two as one and this energy is communicative mischievous lively witty and informative stimulating exchange is possible and what this is doing whether this energy is within yourself and or reflective outside it is 
stimulating the the fruits of your labor to manifest your sacrifices your smiles your time away or this that or the other it is all working it's just the momentum is shifting is how i'm feeling it and it's almost like i'm seeing everything as like a big trampoline victoria and you're going to be able to victoriously actually is what i was hearing victoriously just be able to to jump around that mischievous smile though you know Torians, I adore you. I thank you so much and I look forward to scrying your next ink plot. Thank you for being my muse. Until then.